Hello, welcome. We can actually use a spreadsheet to find our account balance using this compound interest formula right here. And what's amazing is that we can change our principal. Let's say I want to make my principal 20,000. And you'll see the account balance change down here. I can change the rate to any percent, let's say 4.45%, and I'll see it change. N per is the number of times the money is compounding. And compounding means you just take the interest from a certain period and put it back on the original balance, which would be at the start the principal. Now in this case, there are, it's 52, so this is weekly, but I can change that to daily, 365, and I'll see this change down here. And then the time in years, right, we can see exactly how it's going to change. So we're actually using a spreadsheet to plug in principal, rate, number of pay periods, and then pay periods times time in years. So we're going to go over how to do this, but then there are some other things we're going to do, because right here, this kind of takes, takes care of all the steps for you in the whole process. But what's really going on? So one other thing we're going to do is set this up to compound annually, so once a year. We'll just look at a basic situation from 2021, which is the current year, to 2035 and again we have the ability to change our interest rate and in principal and we'll see it change and grow so I'll just show you what I mean and if I change that it changes everything in, in the uh, ending balance here this is the final balance I can change my interest rate six percent and then you can see over here so 20 percent you can see the shape of this graph changing and it's not getting less it's just changing the amount of money over time so you have the ability to change everything there we're going to look at it semi-annually, what it means to take your starting balance and then compound it after six months and then 12 months. And then here you're seeing that as well. You're seeing two com you're seeing two compoundings. That's how I say it. You're seeing the money compounded twice each year. And then it's it's a little bit much. You don't necessarily need to do this in general. But I think it's nice as a learning activity. So in 2021, let's say, what if you had a compounding monthly? So that means each month you get a fraction of this rate up here. You get 4% divided by 12. And that's what you're getting each month. And it's getting added back to the principal after each month. right? And you can see it going for 12 months. And we're going to actually do this even in a chart here. And you might think it's a little like, why, why are we doing that? Well, I want you to see that within each year, the money is being compounded 12 different times. And that means... 12 times your interest is added back to your principal. So the goal of this video is to basically prepare you to do each of these things. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each step and I want you to pause the video whenever you need to. So right now, why don't we start with the compound interest calculator. We'll just cover that part and maybe I'll stop the video after that and then start another one for the next tab. This way we can break this up. So go ahead. Pause the video, go open up a spreadsheet, and then come back when you're ready. So I'm going to recreate this right here. And I've got my own spreadsheet that's blank. And I'm going to type in principal, principal, and then I'm going to type in rate, and then n per, that's the number of times we're compounding it, and then time. And I'm going to go to the principal balance here. Before I enter a number, I could just click this little button to format as a currency. And then for rate, before I enter a number, I'm going to click percent. And now I'm ready to go. So let's start off with 10,000. Let's give ourselves, I don't know, 4%. And let's have it compound every week. Let's do that for 10 years. So now what we want to do is figure out our account balance. I'm going to try to put everything in the same location. So I have it in a7 it doesn't really matter, but I want to help you out. So account balance. And now we enter our formula. It's as easy as that. We're going to go up to B1. Multiply that by 1 plus. Well, what this formula does is it takes the rate. Now here, the cool thing is that the spreadsheet knows this is a percent. It knows it's 0.04. So you don't need to do anything. Just enter it directly as the percent. Divide it by the number of pay periods. But don't enter a number, enter the cell. So that whatever you put in, in this case it's B3, your formula will adjust itself. Close your parentheses. 
to the power of, that's shift six, recreate your parentheses, and you're going to do the number of pay periods, that's B3 times B4. Close parentheses, hit enter, and you're good to go. So you should do a quick test. Let's type in 20,000. And what did I have over on my other spreadsheet? 20,000, 4.45%, 4.45. And we get uh, 365 and 20. So we're compounding it 365 times over 20 years. And 48699.95 is what you should get. If you're not getting that, I'm going to scroll through all the formulas right now. So here they are. And you can pause the video whenever you want in case you need to get something. So it's principal, rate, there's our pay periods, time, and here's the formula. Pause the video there if you need help. Finally here, you want to make sure everything's formatted nicely. So here are some things I suggest. Click over here, and I would center everything. That looks nice. That's one way to do it. Then you want to align everything vertically. Then you want to wrap your text. Just those three things. Then I would do two other things. I would select these cells, click on the borders button, give it all borders. Same thing here, borders button, all borders. And then add some color. I think the easiest way to do that is to go to format, alternating colors, and pick something you like. And here, I'm gonna to try to match that color a little bit with that. And we're done. In the next video, we will cover how to do this step-by-step um, step looking at compounding annually. Thanks.